I'm Izzy at Minerva. We are continuing our sleeve pattern drafting series today and we are going to look at how to create a circular flounce sleeve detail. This one can be adapted across the sleeve at any point. So you could have a circular uh, flounce just as your sleeve from starting at your sleeve head, or you could you know, bring it down three quarters of the way or even further all the way down your arm and just have a little one at the bottom. So where you place this pattern drafting technique on your sleeve pattern piece will have a really big impact on what it looks like. In this series, you're going to be using your very own bespoke sleeve block. So if you've not drafted that out yet, go and have a look at video 69, where I talk you through step-by-step step how to create the sleeve block. Your sleeve may well look different to mine uh, in terms of the proportions of it, and that's totally normal. The one I'm using on the screen above me today is my own personal one, so that I can then fit it and show you what it looks like. In addition to having your sleeve block, you're going to need your standard pattern drafting tools, which are listed next to me here today. So go and grab those and then make a copy of your sleeve block because we're going to start cutting into it and changing it. <laughs> In this video today, I am wearing the Megan Nielsen Rowan top, which is one of my favorites. It's got loads of lovely different necklines and it's just a really quick sew. Um, so we do stock that here at Minerva and we'll tag it below the video. Okay, so in front of us here, we've got my sleeve block. We've got the back with the two notches, the shoulder seam notch and also the front notch. So we've got the full sleeve. It's not completely fitted down at the wrist. This is just our basic sleeve block. The first thing for you to decide is at which point you want your sleeve flounce to be. For me, I'm just going to draft it at 15 centimeters above the wrist line. So I'm marking a point at 15 centimeters above the sleeve. So draw that line and then grab a pair of scissors and then just cut out that pattern piece. What we're going to do now is just move that bottom piece away and we're going to leave this piece as it is. We don't want to make any more changes to the top bit. So go and pop that away to one side for now. Okay, let's take a look at this. If this is our wrist line at the bottom, we're going to want this bit of fabric to fit into the sleeve above. So I want you just to measure the distance that you have between this point and this point here. What is the length of that line that you just cut? For me, it was 27.5 centimeters. So make a note of that. And let's not forget that the distance, the length of fabric that we've um, cut off the sleeve that this pattern piece represents for me is 15 centimeters. Grab a piece of paper and mark the center point on the piece of paper. Okay, we've now got a little bit of maths that we're going to be doing. Now you're gonna to have to refer back to your maths GCSE or whatever age you were when you learned about circles. So it's not complicated. We're just gonna follow some step-by-step -step instructions together to work out your bespoke measurements and what you need to do. So on the screen in front of us here, we know that the flounce bit of the sleeve needs to tie in perfectly with this part of our sleeve up here. Now, the length of our sleeve here is 27.5. For you, it will obviously be something different. And what we're trying to do is basically to create a complete circle with our sleeve that is going to match into the circle that this is going to create when it's all sewn up beautifully like that. So what we want to do is, is create something that's gonna fit into that. The circumference of that is 27.5. So on our pattern drafting pattern piece that we're going to want to do, we need the circle to have the same circumference. So the circumference of your sleeve at that point is 27.5 or whatever it is for you. Write down the circumference of the piece that you're going to need to fit in with this stretch here. Now, with a sleeve pattern piece, we know that the circumference is the outside of the pattern piece, but what I want to know is, what is the radius, which is the length from the middle to the side? So that's the radius, and then from there, we know how to draw our circle. So we know that the radius is the circumference divided by two times pi or two times 3.14. So our radius needs to be 27.5, or whatever it is for you, divided by two times 3.14. So the radius will equal 
6.5 divided by 6.28 because 6.28 is 2 times 3.14. So let's tap that into our calculator and we're going to get a radius of 4.38 which is very precise, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so working with that maths, we're now gonna go and grab another sheet of paper and start drawing out our beautiful flounce detail. Firstly, mark a point that will be the center of your pattern piece. And then basically what we want to draw is a circle with a radius of whatever your bespoke dimension is. For me, it's four point, I'm gonna round that up, 4.4 centimeters. And all we're going to do is just create a series of little dots away from that center point that is that distance, your radius, your bespoke radius. You could also use a protractor to do this task for you as well. Once you've drawn all your little dots, then we're just going to draw a line that joins them all up together. You can always go and grab your little pattern piece, join it up so it's a full circle and just Place that on top and check. Yeah, I can see that's gonna fit nicely. <laughs> Great, so the only other thing we need to do is just um, draw in the length of the flounce that we want to do. So for me, on my pattern piece, um, the length that I've cut off the sleeve was 15 centimeters. So very simply, I'm just going to add a 15 centimeter length to this pattern piece. So again, using the same method that we did a minute ago, I'm just going to dot off from this line a distance of 15 centimetres all the way around that circle. Again, if you've got a protractor, you could use that. I'm showing you this method simply because sometimes um, <laughs> the circles that we end up drawing are so massive that a protractor just would not help at all. So the more little dots you do, the more accurate you're going to get your pattern drafting at this point. It can also be quite helpful to place your ruler this way around so that I'm marking the 15 off here, but I'm making sure the ruler is cutting through the center of the circle as well at that point. So it just brings up that level of accuracy just a little bit more, which is really nice. Beautiful. Once you've done all your dots, just draw a nice big circle to join them all together. Okay, brilliant. We've done that now. It's looking really good. What we're going to do now is add our seam allowances to our pattern piece uh, for both the top of the sleeve and the flounce. Let's do that together. The first thing we're going to do is to add a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance to the inner circle. This is the bit that's going to attach onto the top of your sleeve. Once you've dotted around the circles, then draw a line all the way around. Trace over the outer circle. We're not going to add a seam allowance to this because we're just looking at the impact of the pattern drafting technique. Circular flounce sleeve, lower sleeve, cut two. Now, because it's a circle, the grain line really doesn't matter on this, does it? But as a principle, let's pop the grain line on and we're just gonna send it straight up this way. Wonderful, cut that pattern piece out and then we'll move on to the upper sleeve. Excellent, so we've got our sleeve pattern piece here and all we're going to do is to add a seam allowance around the entire pattern piece. We're adding a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance to everywhere. Add in your notches. The grain line runs perpendicular to the bottom of the sleeve. Circular flounce sleeve, sleeve upper cut two. Brilliant, so that is all of our pattern drafting aspects of this video completed now. What we're going to do next is move on and I'm just gonna sew that up quickly for you so you can see the visual effect of the pattern drafting technique that we've demoed here. If for you at home, if you want to do the same, you're going to need to draft out your bodice uh, block with a sleeve allowance attached to your arm side of your bodice all the way around so that you can attach your sleeve and the sleeve head into the arm side of the bodice. If you're not sure how to do that, you can refer back to video 70 where I talk you through the whole process of drafting out the sleeve, drafting out a simple bodice with the sleeve allowance and then how to sew that all together. To start off with, let's sew the upper sleeve and get that drafted out in place. The first thing we'll do is gonna prep and sew the two side seams together of our sleeve. We've got two pattern pieces here. It's the right side facing up on the screen 
and I'm just going to flip one side over to the other and pin in place. So using a standard 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Now we're going to attach our sleeve flounce to our upper sleeve aspect. We're going to do this really carefully and as accurately as we can. We're going to turn our sleeve right side out. Now at this point, I'm actually going to fold my sleeve in half um, like this along the, with the seam allowance at one edge here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip a little notch in at that point at the top and then fold it over in half again and then snip another little notch here. All that does is it just breaks up that whole circumference into four equal parts. And then I'm gonna repeat the same process with this sleeve here. So just fold it in half, put a little notch at both points and fold it in half one more time. And add a little notch. Great, so right sides are facing out on both pads and pieces. I'm going to grab my seam allowance and I'm just going to lay that over um, the location of just one of those notches. And basically we're just gonna attach the sleeve to this flounce now. This is easier said than done <laughs> because what we're trying to do is to attach it at the 1.5 centimeter seam mark. So at this point, I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to match the um, corresponding opposite notch of the sleeve with the opposite notch of the flounce, which is here. So I'm going to put that over with right sides together and just pin that in place. Now we're doing this with woven fabric and it has no stretch in. If you're doing this with jersey fabric, it does tend to be um, a little bit easier. Line up the other notches next. Okay, so we've now got our four notches pinned in place. As you see, we've got quite a lot of excess of the actual sleeve pattern piece. So we're just gonna do exactly like what we normally do when we're inserting the sleeve head into uh, the sleeve arm side of the bodice. We're just going to um, distribute that fabric around the whole of the circumference of the hole, nice and evenly. Okay, so once you've pinned all the way around, you can then sew, and I'd recommend just basting it in place to start off with, either by hand or on your machine, all the way around, just to distribute um, and ease um, the flounce into the sleeve. Great, once you've sewn it in place, just flip it around to check what that's looking like, and it's looking great, isn't it? <laughs> the final thing I'd recommend is just snipping in to the seam allowance to take away the tension. Okay, it's now time for us to attach our whole sleeve into our bodice. So let's go and do that together. If you're not sure of how to do this and the best technique to do it, please refer back to video 70, where I talk you through in a lot of detail how to fix the sleeve head into the arm side of the bodice really accurately. Wonderful, so we've got our sleeve and we've got a bodice here now. Um, this is one that I prepared earlier. <laughs> so um, this is just using a really simple bodice and I've added a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance to the arm side. We're going to be inserting the sleeve in the same manner that we did in video 70. So if you're not quite sure of all the details of why and how we're inserting the sleeve, please do refer to video 70. So we've got the right side of both of the garments facing out and first of all we're just going to match the underarm seam between the two pieces and pin that in place. Make sure that you open up the seam allowances at this point just to create um, less bulk um, underneath your arm. Great, once you've pinned that in place and you've got a reference point there, we're going to flip the outer garment over, so right side of the sleeve is facing the right side of the top, and then we're just gonna to continue to pin the sleeve around to the notch at the front, and the notch at the back. Next, I'm gonna grab the sleeve notch at the top of the garment here, and just attach that to the shoulder seam of the bodice. And then pin the space between the notches 
and the shoulder seam in place. Now you'll note that you've got an excess amount of sleeve head compared to the arm side. But as you're matching it at 1.5 centimeters as you go all the way around, you will pick up on the fact that it is going to start to ease in. Brilliant. Once you've pinned all of that in place, isn't, doesn't that look beautiful? Um, we're then just going to sew it using a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. I've actually marked on my bodice where that seam allowance is just to make that easier for me too. As always, I'd recommend that you baste in place first, either by hand or on your sewing machine, just to ease in the fabric. And then once you've um, eased in the fabric and there's no lumps or or tucks anywhere around the sleeve head, then you can sew it using your standard stitch length. Lovely, okay, so if we turn that around the right way, then you can see that we've got a beautiful little sleeve, all nicely fit in. Once you've done that sleeve, we'll do the same for the other side. Okay, so it's looking really good. Should we go and see what it looks like now? Quite a dramatic look, isn't it? This lovely little sleeve detail. Um, you can imagine, as I said right at the very beginning, how if you raised or lowered the location, at which point the flounce was attached to the uh, main sleeve body, then it would have a really big visual impact, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> this is a really nice little detail. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you've really enjoyed that whole process and it's been really insightful and it's kind of opened up a whole load of opportunities for you in your pattern drafting um, journey. <laughs> we always love to hear from our maker communities here at Minerva, so please do create a free account on our website where you can uh, join in with our maker community and uh, sharing all your beautiful makes in items that you've made using our fabric and our patterns. And if you've been following this pattern drafting series, we'd absolutely love to see what you're making as well so please do tag us in that on your socials as well thank you for joining me today i've been izzy at minerva i'll see you next week for more sleeve drafting techniques